Uh, hi everyone, uh, today's my second uh, Note to Amphibio video and what I did is I just came in from outside doing a little video. It's, uh, it's the closest winter here uh, where I live and uh, so the only place I just a little spot of bare ground of course my daughter's talking during the video but, but I'll try to get the point across. I have a little small area in my yard I could hunt in. And uh, I was getting, uh, you know, a fair amount of EMI. So, you know, hopefully one question for the NOCTA group is, well, how do you best handle uh, the kind of situation just by changing the gain? Or do you do a frequency shift combination of the both? I'd, I'd appreciate anything uh, on that. Uh, other than that, uh, uh, I just wanted to do one more demo and there's going to be a lot of racket in here. Anyway, I'm just shrinking up my machine. I'm going to turn it on just so I can show you a couple of more settings that I wasn't able to do outside. But uh, uh, so you know, I'll turn it on. You're probably going to hear a whole lot of racket inside the house. But now I'm going to turn it on. As you can hear it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just doing a scan with just my ring. This is, that's a silver ring. So you can see how high that's coming up. And then by the way, I found this ring at one of my last hunts last year. And it's a nine it's a nine point five sterling silver. Now over here I'm gonna run my wedding ring, which is golden platinum. See that number's right down in that lower conductivity range? The closer it is to the coil, see it's right around that 30 number. And uh, so it's coming up right in that lower conductivity nickel range that I see outside. So uh, anyway, what I'm seeing so far is really cool. And I uh, hope you guys put some comments out on my video and the on the Nocta group or on Facebook, and uh, I'd really appreciate any advice. Thank you. So what I'm doing today is running a test of uh, my new Amphibio, and as you can see, it is a lot of snow on the ground. See, the only place that I actually have that I can test is in this little area around the tree that has some bare ground. So, and actually I need to turn down, I'm gonna switch my machine into three-tone. I got a little racket out here, so I need to change. I'm going to set the gain down a little bit to get rid of some of this racket. No ground balance first. Okay. And now I got the ground balance. And now I am actually going to just turn, turn the gain down to get rid of I got a lot of EMI around my house. Okay. So I think... Okay, finally got it to quiet down here. And by the way, any guys on the group, I mean, give me some advice on this. And I know I got a lot of EMI, but uh, we'll see what happens when I get out to a real park uh, away from some of all this infrastructure and see what we get. But anyway, my test today consists of uh, all American coins. I've got, I'm trying to put them in the order uh, of connectivity, so I got a nickel, I got a zinc penny, I got a copper penny, I got a dime, I got a quarter, and so I'm going to start with that. So, first target is a nickel. It's coming up nice 30 signal. Well, I'm expecting 29, 30, hitting real solid. So the next one is a zinc penny. About 68, 69, hitting the machine really nice. Next one's a copper penny. About what I expect, coming up about 10 points higher. And keep in mind, running in three tones, so about 79. Next target's a dime. 
Clad dime, roughly the same, and this is a 79 or 80. Similar to what I see on the zinc or on a copper penny, and this is typically what I'll see on my e track too. So it's always is it a clad dime or copper penny? So and then a quarter is that clad quarter coming up way up in the high 80s, 87, 88. Okay, so now let's let's try to trick this a little bit. I'm gonna take the nickel and I am going to put it with two quarters. You guys would be amazed just how often I find something like this in the wild. Amazing how many times I've, I call it a nickel sandwich. So let's, and it's coming up around 80. I'm gonna try to expose that nickel a little bit and This is interesting. Depends on how you swing it over, and I see a lot of this with my E-Track as well. If you go really slowly, you can get that high signal to come through. Now what I'm going to do is take everything all of my coins that I have here and put them all in a pile, like a little coin spill, and try to find a little better spot for these. And I find a ton of coin spills. And see how that is? You see how jumpy that is? All over the place. And what I do with my E-Track is if I see a signal like this and I don't really have any space to work with, I'll go at different angles. But what I watch for in the E-Track is that the tones and uh, the numbers, if I can hear the same tones and I see the same numbers repeating, I'll go after that signal every time. With the fact that it's jumpy, I suspect a lot of these get skipped, but I'm amazed how many coin spills I find. Yeah, and it, it's a lot. So now I'm going to do one more test here. And this one's, I'm really curious to see how this is going to work. Because over here, I have an Indian head, a really toasted Indian head penny. I'm going to put a zinc penny here. I've got an early date weedy, a late date weedy and just the modern Lincoln Memorial. And the reason I'm doing early and late date Wheaties is, is from my experience using the E-Track, that uh, the early date Wheaties, meaning between 1909 and 1940, will actually produce a slightly lower tone and VDI number. And I'm curious to see if it does the same thing on the E-Track or on the Amphibio. So let's see what we get. So this is coming up about 63, 64. This is, a, this is a really toasty Indian head penny. So now we'll move on to a zinc penny. And there's her 68, 69, so a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we got an early date weedy. It's right around 70. So a little bit higher than the zinc. And now a late date weedy, see, around 80. This is actually excellent. I, I like what I'm seeing just doing this. See the difference? I've got 70, 71. That wheat penny I'm over now is, is 1919. And this is a 1944. So you see that's higher than finally. Finally, just a modern uh, memorial from the 70s is coming up the same as this later date weedy. Really interesting how this works. But there's a 70 again on the early date. And of course, I'll go up after these signals all day. And then here we have, 
Here we have the zinc penny, and finally the Indian head com coming up the lowest. So, no, that was this was a great test. Uh, I don't have any. The only thing I have notched out are the first couple lines. So that's pretty much about it. It did take a little bit of time to get the. Uh, I had to turn the gain down just because of the EMI that's coming through in my neighborhood. I run into the same problem with the E-Track, but uh, what I'm seeing is great. And by the way, it's freezing cold. I don't have gloves on. So that's going to be about it for my uh, demo today. So thank you for watching.